In this SkyCAD tutorial, we'll be explaining the user interface. There are four sections in SkyCAD. The first one is the ribbon menu located at the top of the screen. This is where you will find all the command icons. These command icons are grouped under various tabs. If you click on the Tutorials Support tab, you will have access to all the SkyCAD tutorials and the forum. Sometimes, tutorials are also available from the tabs where they are relevant. For example, if I click on the Drawing tab, there is a shortcut to the tutorial on drawing tools. The ribbon menu is contextual, meaning it only displays commands that are relevant to the item that is selected. For example, when you select a project, only commands relevant to projects are displayed, such as Close, Save and Save As. The second section is the Tree View, located on the left. This is where you will find all open projects. In this case, we can see the IEEE example project is open and its sheets are listed. For every Tree View item, a small arrow button allows you to explore its properties and edit them if you wish. Currently, the sheets of the project are listed, but other aspects of the project can be listed instead by selecting the project, going to the Show tab, and selecting what you want to see. For example, when we select Components, all the components in the project are listed. Other examples include locations and cables. If you hold the Control key, you can select multiple different elements to list in the tree view, such as locations and cables. If you select something in the tree view, which is represented on the sheet you have open, that item will become highlighted, such as this cable. The last thing to mention about the tree view is that it can be hidden and unhidden by clicking on the arrow to the left of it. The next section of the user interface is called the main view tab section. This area is where you will be working in most of the time to work on your schematics, panel layouts, and list views. To zoom in and out, scroll the mouse wheel. To pan, click and hold either the right mouse button or the mouse wheel, then move the mouse. To return to full view, double click the mouse wheel. At the top of the main view tab area are the tabs you currently have open. If you have so many tabs open that you can't see all of them, you can move your mouse over the tabs, then scroll the mouse wheel to see the others. Also, there is a small menu button you can click to see all the tabs that are currently open. Selecting one of the tabs from the menu will open the tab. If you don't see a sheet you're looking for, you need to show the list of sheets in the tree view and open it from there. It's possible to view the properties of almost anything in SkyCAD by right-clicking on the item and selecting Explore. If you adjust the window size by clicking and dragging like this, SkyCAD will remember that and always display those types of windows in that size. The final section of the user interface is the symbol library. As with the tree view, the library can be hidden by clicking the arrow to the right of it. All symbols are categorized within folders. Hovering over a symbol will display a description of what it is. Some folders may have many symbols in them, so you may need to scroll to see all the symbols. Similarly, you can scroll up and down in the symbol library itself. By default, the symbols are shown in a grid-like fashion. If you'd prefer, you can click on a symbol library folder, go to the Home tab, and select Display Thumbnails as List to have their descriptions shown. If some of the descriptions are cut off, you can click and drag the border of the symbol library to increase the width. Symbols can be copied and pasted between various library folders if you wish. The symbols can be rearranged as you like by clicking and dragging them. The folders themselves can also be rearranged by clicking and dragging. New folders can be created by selecting the Symbol Library heading, going to the Create Add tab, and selecting Add Library Folder. It will be added to the bottom of the library. You can double-click on it to change its name. There is also a status bar at the very bottom of the screen. Idle function lets you know which function or command you currently have selected. Selected item tells you which object you have selected. Zoom factor changes when you zoom in and out. And X and Y displays the X and Y coordinates of the mouse cursor. In conclusion to this tutorial, we'd like to show you how you can have several SkyCAD views open at the same time. 
For example, I'll select the PLC IO list, then select Send to Explorer view. Now the IO list is opened in a separate window. You can click and drag this window over to your second screen if you have one, or just to one side of your screen if you don't. Then move the other window to the other side. If you don't have a second screen, you may want to hide the tree view and or the library and select the relevant schematics. In this case, the PLC schematics. Now we can view the schematics and the IO list side by side. When we make changes to the schematics, the IO list is automatically updated. And vice versa, when we make changes to the IO list, the schematics are updated.